hello and welcome to another video on ethical hacking so for today's video i was thinking to do something different and i said why not combine python programming with ethical hacking so today we will start a new course in which you will learn Py python programming language for ethical hacking stuff like you might say you can use tons and tons of pre-made software so why should we learn python programming or programming in general and create our own uh, programs while there are plenty of softwares available in the market. Well, the problem is once the software gets released, like once the company creates a software and they release it for hacking purpose or for ethical hacking purpose, the big companies like Facebook and Google or any other company for which the program or the ethical hacking software is created, they also check that out and then make changes to their own software accordingly. So the pre-built software works for a certain amount of time, but then they stop working. Suppose a few months ago, I was using the MSF Venom for hacking into Android mobiles, and it was working perfectly fine. But now if I try to patch it with the Facebook Lite, like I was combining the MSF Venom with the Facebook Lite and sending it to some android phone uh, so that was working fine a few months ago but now if i try it and if i try to patch the msf venom with F facebook Lite, it won't work anymore because when the facebook came to know that the msf venom can be used with our application for hacking purpose they made certain changes to their application and now that won't work so now here we come to the power of Python programming or any other programming language in general. In general, You can create your own application and keep them secret to yourself and use it for yourself or you can also release them and share them with the community as well. Enough of me talking gibberish, let's get to the real thing that is what are we going to be learning in this course. We'll start with the installation of Python on our Kali machine. Then we'll head over to a little basics, just one or two videos, and then we'll start with creating real world applications. Like if I try to create everything on console and do some stuff that other people are doing, uh, that that's not useful, like create 200 videos on Python basics and teach you variables and stuff like that. And then, so you won't, so you will get bored and leave the programming. But in this course, from the start, we'll create useful tools uh, by, by, and we'll learn Python by creating those useful and exciting applications. So that's why by the end of this course, you will be having 12 to 15 ready-made applications by yourself that can be used for ethical hacking purpose. So now let's discuss what applications are we building in this course? Let's discuss them in details. What are they and how are we going to create them? So for the first application in our course, we will be creating a Mac changer program that will be responsible for changing our Mac address. Oh, don't worry. If you don't know what is Mac, what is Mac address or why you would even want to change that, we will explain this in great details. The, the whole purpose of creating this program is to learn Python basics, like what are functions and how to use them. Also see what variables are and how to import libraries in Python. So don't worry if you don't know what, a make, what make changer is and how to change it or why you would want to change it. I will explain this in great details. Okay, so by, by creating this make changer program, we will also see how to get input from user and work appropriately according to the, 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 according to the user inputs. So the way we are going to build this program would be really simple. First, we'll plot a problem of real world scenario and then create an algorithm for that by breaking each problem in certain parts and then solve each part separately and then combine everything in the end. 
So now once we get complete, so once the funds our first application gets completed, we'll head over to our second application. And for the second application, we'll create a network scanner, something similar to Wireshark. So the main aim of this program will be to discover all the connected users to a network and then list them down on a console with their name, IP addresses, and MAC addresses. So by doing this, I will introduce you to the SCAPI library. By using this library, we'll learn how to send and receive ARP responses, as well as how to analyze them. In the process of creating this network scanner, in the process of creating this network scanner, I will also introduce you to list dictionaries and all the operations we can invoke on them like push etc in Python. So after creating network scanner, we'll dive deeper into networks and learn completely what ARP is and how we can use the ARP for spoofing and how to write a Python program that can run an ARP spoofing automatically with uh, without our interference. By doing this, you will learn more about SCAPI, analyzing network layers, as well as handling exceptions and loops, and if conditions, and much more. After creating the ARP spoofing program, we'll learn more about network. Uh, we'll learn more about networking by exploring, capturing, and filtering data by creating a packet sniffer program in Python. What this programming would basically do is that it will sniff packets while the computers are sending and receiving data which is connected or which are connected to the same network as us. This means that we will be able to see the visited website login information like usernames and passwords and pretty much everything they are doing on the internet. Then after that, we'll create a data, a data modifier or packet modifier program which will inject code into HTML pages and try to steal data. So this will be done by writing quite a few programs. The first one would be packet sniffer, DNS spoofer, and HTML code injector, and a file interceptor. So once we are done with these programs, we'll move towards the fun part, and that is writing our own malwares. We'll start with a simple evil program, like a program that can download things and then execute them or send reports by email. And then we'll learn how to combine these programs or, or scenarios and launch a powerful attack. And from here, we will advance ourselves for writing more complex malwares like our first stop would be writing a backdoor. Now you must say what is a backdoor? Well, a backdoor is a program that provides full control over a system it gets executed on. So we will implement this backdoor using sockets and by doing this, you will learn how to establish a connection between two devices and then start transferring data. This technique is very useful because it can be used in other scenarios other than ethical hacking as well. Like you can use it for creating a web, a web, server, a web server or a chat program. Then after doing that, we'll move towards creating more features in backdoor like creating a reverse backdoor. After this, we'll create our first keylogger, which is a program that registers every keystroke sent from, from the keyboard on target machine and then send us a report on the email. By doing this, we'll learn all about recursive functions, thread threading, object-oriented programming, and much more. In the second last section of this course, we'll learn about cross-platform compatibility and how to package a program that can be run on Windows, Linux, as well as Mac, so, that's one, so that once we create one program for one platform, it can be run on other as well. We will also learn how to package these created application to look just like PNG or PDF files as well as act like them. But once they, once, once the user run it on his, on his or her PC, it, it starts its real work of hacking or ethical hacking or virus or something like that. Now, after this, we'll move forward towards the website hacking and learn how to communicate with websites using Python and use this knowledge will create a number of different information gathering programs 
that can be used to discover files, directories, subdomains and other things and also some vulnerabilities in the websites. After this we'll create a program that guesses login information of any login page. By doing this you will learn how to read HTML code using Python programming and then analyze it and extract useful information from that website or web page. Finally, we will create a vulnerability scanner that will take a website as, a, as an input and then scans the whole website for weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Once then, it will show us a report of all the discoveries and we are going to write this program in a way that it can discover any type of vulnerability. As we write this, you will learn more about object-oriented programming like how to structure your program in a way so that it can be easily extended. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you have received the, the complete pictures or you have taken the complete pictures out of this video that what we will do in this entire course, what applications we'll, we will be creating in this course and how are we going to learn Python for ethical hackers. So that is pretty much it. I hope you did learn something today and you are interested in this course. So see you in the next video. Until next time, enjoy hacking. Peace.